My name is Jacob Gardner and I am one of the arborists. Hola, como está todo? Mi nombre es Efraín Díaz. Hi, I'm Julia and I'm a preservation technician here at Mount Auburn. My name is Ethan Brier. Hi, my name is Luis Santiago. My name is Regina Harrison. I'm the sales manager at Mount Auburn Cemetery. I meet with individuals, couples, and families who are looking for burial space. Sometimes that's um, people who are pre-planning their end-of-life affairs, and sometimes it's when a death has just occurred and burial space is needed immediately. Right, so my role here at the Mount Auburn is take care of all the lawn, all the grave, everything you see green around the ground. You know, that's, that's my responsibility. You know, everything is good, look good and green. Yes, yeah, so here I basically take care of monuments and essential old things. Um, so that can include old buildings or fences, um, mausolea, anything that's historic on the grounds. Sí, mi trabajo es sembrar semilla y de vez en cuando también echar agua a la grama, cortar la grama, a veces ayudar en otro Sure. On a typical day here, we will go out and um, tend to different uh, areas of the cemetery. And we'll go out and we'll either be pruning different plants like in this time of the year uh, versus in the spring or summer, we're more planting. I think that where arboriculture and like my position kind of intersects with you know, making things a little bit greener, so to speak, basically comes down to preserving uh, like ecological biodiversity in a big way. You know, we have wild black oaks and scarlet oaks and white oaks that predate the cemetery, which means that they're coming from back when this area was all forest land. Large trees and the preservation of large trees and care of that allows for greater air quality, greater improvements to both human and like environmental health. So I think um, the, the basis of preservation, if you want to talk about it, like the building blocks at, it, at its essence is really about um, reusing old things, increasing lifespan of things that are already built. Um, so it's definitely about the built environment um, and that can be somewhat different from other sustainability fields. Um, but because we're so interested in um, expanding the life of things that we already have, um, it's just that mindset that really brings, it, brings sustainability into preservation. Cemeteries are, I think, really important for sustainability. A lot of people look at cemeteries and say, oh, what a waste of space. But Cemeteries, in fact, have become really important pieces of green space, particularly in urban and suburban environments. You know, our beliefs about what to do with our dead have protected these spaces. And I think that cemeteries really fit into, you know, the work of Doug Tallamy and others who look at the, the smaller but interconnected backyards, parks, and cemeteries as being really the key to protecting biodiversity on a continental basis. So my advice for the young people is if they, if they want to work in the green history, you know, if they like to get hand dairy, I recommend this, you know, because the green industry is going up every year, you know, so it's better for the future for them. This is 100% electric, see? And then after that, we have all the hand pedal, you know, hand blowers, backpacks. So every year we get improved more and more and more. I was someone who sort of stumbled their way into horticulture. I have worked in greenhouses, in high rises, in treetops, and at a cemetery. And in every single role I've had, you know, I have seen people trying to make a difference. And even if it isn't as big as we might hope in the moment, you know, change still happens. You know, if we can continue pushing for these things, we can make the green industry actually green. And I think that's something 
that can be our drive moving forward. For young people interested in preservation, I definitely think that, that now is a great time to be interested in the field. Um, I think if you're looking for a field where you get to work with your hands, you get to be outside, um, but is also definitely related to like social benefit, then historic preservation is absolutely a field for you. So if you're looking to get involved in cemetery work, there's no established career path. You don't go to cemetery school. I would really say the, the best thing to do is, you know, approach your local cemetery, see if they're interested in having volunteers work on different projects that could be helpful to them. Cemeteries have always had this relationship with nature. How they're managed is a different question, but um, you know, that's why people going into cemetery management with an eye towards sustainability really can take an active role in making these green spaces be all that they can be.